Okay, so. You're diving into Kigo. Which means like. Really cutting those carbs. And embracing those healthy fats and protein, right? Right. But. Where do you even begin? There are so many recipes out there. So many. It's overwhelming. It can feel like a lot. Well, don't worry. We've got you. In this deep dive. We're going to be looking at five. Like really doable. Keto recipes. From New Times Cooking. Awesome. It's their September 1st post, so it's super recent. Yeah, they're all about like making keto work for you, for your like your taste buds, your lifestyle. It's well, not about feeling deprived. Totally. And it's not about spending hours in the kitchen either, which honestly. <laughs> is the best part. Speaking of, let's start with this recipe. Keto bacon and egg breakfast muffins. I, uh, I might have made a batch last night and had them for dinner. My family was a little confused. Breakfast for dinner, though, it's a classic. Right. It's a classic for a reason. And these muffins are, like, the perfect example of how good keto can be. Yeah. You've got your eggs, good fats, protein. Yeah. Keeps you full and ready to go in the morning, right? Yes. And then bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? <laughs> that savory crunch. That saltiness. Exactly. And, of course, cheese. Because everything's better with cheese. Oh, absolutely. And very few carbs, which is the whole point, right? Exactly. Maximum flavor, minimal carbs. And the fact that they're portable. Like, grab them and go in the morning. Yeah, no more grabbing a sad breakfast sandwich on the way to work. Ugh, those things are the worst. Okay, speaking of easy wins, how about lunch? This keto avocado chicken salad changed how I do lunch. Seriously. Yeah. I used to be the queen of takeout salads. Okay, that salads. So extensive. The worst. This is way cheaper and tastier. Plus, it's packed with good stuff. Healthy fats from the avocado, lean protein from the chicken. It'll keep you going all afternoon. No more energy slump. And can we talk about the diced avocado for a second? It's like the star. Okay, are you ready for the pasta lover's dilemma? Oh, yeah. Keto zucchini noodles with pesto, or zoodles as they're called. Oh, zoodles, love it. What's interesting about zucchini is that it has this neutral flavor, mm -hmm. you know, and when you spiralize it, it really does have that pasta-like texture. It's perfect for a vibrant pesto. Totally. Now, I love a good homemade pesto. But sometimes you just need something quick and easy. If you're going with store-bought, look for a brand that uses good quality olive oil and fresh basil. The flavor is so much better. Good tip. Honestly, I used to think zoodles were just a sad substitute. Right. But with a really flavorful pesto, they totally hit the spot. Okay? Ready to, like, level up a little in the kitchen? I'm ready. Keto garlic butter shrimp. Okay. This one sounds fancy, but it is so easy. And it's ready in under 15 minutes. Perfect for a busy weeknight. Restaurant-quality meal without all the fuss. Right. Like, who can resist garlic butter shrimp? Nobody. It's a crowd pleaser and so easy to make. It really is, though, right? It is. Like, truly a restaurant-worthy meal. Sometimes I'll even, like, I don't know, do a little side salad with it. Yeah. No, make it a whole thing. The complete meal. Right. Okay, are you ready for the, like, comfort food of it all? Let's do it. We've got to round out our week of keto. Keto cauliflower fried rice. This one's for, like, anyone who thinks that going keto means giving up all those, like, comfort food favorites. I know. Cauliflower is amazing, though, isn't it? So versatile. Right. It could be anything. In this recipe, it's rice. Totally. You get that same satisfying texture, the neutral flavor that just absorbs all those delicious stir-fry flavors. And all those veggies. Exactly. Yeah. It's a great way to sneak in some extra veggies, which we love. Always a good thing. Sometimes I even, like, go a little crazy and add extra. Yeah, yeah. What do you add? Sometimes broccoli florets. Okay. Diced peppers. Oh, nice. If I'm feeling really crazy, shredded carrots, just for a little pop of color. A little color. I love that. It's fun. It's like build your own adventure cauliflower fried rice edition. Exactly. Okay. But before we send everyone off to start cooking all these amazing meals. Yes. Let's uh, jump into the comments on that New Times cooking post. Okay. Because we've got to see what everyone else is saying. We've got Lonnie. Lonnie. Chiming in with a very simple. Can't wait to try. Lonnie. I love it. Yeah. So Lonnie, which one are you most excited about? Are we talking those breakfast muffins for the win, the cauliflower rice, or are you just like done with takeout salads because no. that avocado chicken salad is calling your name? I know. Lonnie's comment really it um, I don't know it resonates with me because I remember yeah. like when I first started keto, I was so excited, right, but also so overwhelmed. It's a lot of information. It's so much. Yeah. So many recipes, so many different like thoughts and opinions. It's like, where do I even begin? That's why we wanted to focus on this five recipes because they're manageable. Yes, they're manageable, they're approachable, and they really show you like 
the key parts of keto, right? Totally. You're incorporating those healthy fats. You're prioritizing protein. You're finding those like fun and creative low carb swaps. And it's not overly complicated. No, not at all. And honestly, like once you have these guys, well, it kind of it opens up a whole new world. It really is. And like you said, it's like this whole new world opens up. Right. And suddenly you're like, wait, keto isn't just like, you know, deprivation and, and weird stuff. Yeah. It's actually like fun it is fun it's about kind of taking back control in the kitchen right yeah feeling like you have the tools to make like really delicious food that also aligns with your goals exactly and i mean that's what this whole deep dive is really about right like yeah. we took those five recipes yeah which seem you know maybe a little intimidating at first they can be especially when you're just starting out right but we broke them down step by step exactly. and now they're not so scary anymore and you can say goodbye to that feeling of i don't even know where to begin seriously because you do know where to begin you've got this you do this is your starting point and from here the possibilities are kind of like endless you know you can explore different cuisines you could try your hand at making keto desserts oh you could even like figure out how to do keto when you're eating out at restaurants Oh, now that's a whole other deep dive. We need to do that next because those uh -huh. menus, they're tricky. They can be tricky. But for now, I think well, just... focus on these recipes. Yeah. Get comfortable in the kitchen. Celebrate the wins. Exactly. Yeah. You've got five amazing You've got pack. this amazing community. Shout out to Lonnie. Yes. Lonnie's rooting for you. Mm. And you've got this. This whole world of delicious possibilities. So go explore, experiment, have fun. And most importantly, enjoy every bite.